Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jockslate here, back with another unboxing, and today I have something really, really special for you guys. It is a shoe that might be the most anticipated shoe for like the end of the year. There's been a lot of different sneakers that released in 2020, but this one popped up on the radar and it really had people going crazy for this release. Uh, without further ado, I'll just give you the information. It's the Nike Kobe 6 Protro, the Grinch colorway. Let's get into it. Okay, as you guys can see, it just comes in the regular black Kobe box. This is the Pro Tro version. And let's get these out and take a look. And there you go. Man, that is a good looking shoe. My goodness. All right, we're gonna jump into these because there's a lot of details about this shoe that you guys definitely need to know, especially for those that weren't really into the sneaker world back in 2010 when these originally released. So this shoe is like the first, uh, I almost say coming out story for Kobe Bryant in that Black Mamba phase. So we had called him Black Mamba before, but this was the first like personification of Black Mamba with a shoe. So these were designed by Eric Abar. Uh, when these released back in December, it was Christmas of December, 2010. And so what they did is they created this upper that has all of these like polyurethane, um, almost you want to, they, they look like scales, but I think they officially called them islands back then. So these polyurethane islands that obviously mimic snakeskin. And the purpose of that was two twofold. One, obviously, because they wanted it to look like a snakeskin or the black mamba snake. But more importantly, it was for durability. So if you played ball in these shoes, these polyurethane islands added some extra durability to the upper of the shoe. So when you're playing, you have that extra relief. If you're rubbing up against somebody or if you're playing outside and you know how rough it can be outside, you had this extra island here to protect you while you were playing outside. Now, something on here also that a lot of people aren't really pointing out now is that these actually have Flywire in them as well. And I know we don't necessarily talk about Flywire as much as we used to, but if you look really closely, you can see that there's actual Flywire tied to the eyelets of the shoe that go down to the strobe board. And, and as you guys know, for those that are focused on performance, you know, with the fly wire, basically what it does is it attaches the laces down to the strobe board. And so it almost kind of collapses the shoe around your foot and you have those wires, almost like the wires of a bridge, giving you that tension to keep you locked down. And the way that they did it is they have fly wire going from here at the toe all the way up to, I believe, yeah, all the way up to the top eyelet. So it's not just a pressure point. You have that like equal force all the way across the upper of your foot from about here at your toes all the way up to around the ankle. So that lockdown feeling is actually happening on the full shoe. It's really, it's really incredible what they've done. Now, as far as the fit of these go, I'm gonna try these on in just a moment after this video. But for the original pair, they used Phylon. And they used that Phylon, a softer Phylon, to give you a sort of anatomical fit so that your foot could kind of sink into the shoe. But they said that they updated the foam on this one. They don't say what the updated version or what the foam is on this updated version, but I imagine it's some version of Phylon for those that are super into the details like that. So this is gonna have that same sort of Phylon feeling that you had there before. Uh, as far as responsiveness goes, you still have zoom in it. You have two zoom units. You have one in the heel and one in the forefoot. Now they're saying it's an air zoom turbo unit, but they didn't specify whether that's the one that's in the toe or that's in the heel. I'm going to uh, just guess here and say that it's here in the forefoot of the shoe because uh, that's the one that really makes the most sense. Although I don't think people are going to actually be playing in these anymore. Um, I, I, really kind of regret playing in the old pair that I have. I mean, I beat them up. I'm happy that the shoe is coming back. Now this colorway is obviously inspired by the Grinch. That's where you got the greens and the yellows. Uh, but there are some small details here. Obviously you have Kobe's logo there on the tongue and then you have Kobe's 
signature there on the back on the heel. And Eric Avar, the guy who designed this shoe, or he led the team, I should say, that designed this shoe. He added one small detail that I don't think a lot of people know about is here at the toe. So here at the toe, it says phenomenon, kind of like phenomenon, and obviously like venom of a deadly snake and kind of put those words together. And it's, it's his way of showing like that little bit of like snake phenomenon, venom, and Kobe being like the deadliest predator on the court, like tying all those things together, he was able to throw that little hint at it right there. Now these come with extra laces. So if you're into that, you can throw the red laces in there. So they also have custom insoles in here. And as you can see, this one says, I want a shoe that molds to my foot. And then you have KB and then you have 24 on there. So the, and these are not your typical insoles. These are actually molded insoles. So they're not flimsy. These actually have some like some like resistance to them. So you don't get the same sort of softness that you would get with a usual insole. But this one does cup your foot more as you can even see here on the heel, like it literally cups up around your heel and usually your insoles don't do that. Now speaking of like cupping around your foot, these have memory foam here around the ankle. So that memory foam is actually going to wrap around your ankle and get to know the shape and feel of your ankle so you have that sort of support when it comes to this shoe. So overall, again, there's a lot going on with this shoe and really obviously the elephant in the room is because Kobe Bryant passed, this shoe uh, is coming back and a lot of people are wanting to get their hands on this shoe because they want pieces of Kobe. They want to remember Kobe uh, in the way that we always remember Kobe as the beast, the architect on the court, the guy that always was pushing himself to be the best possible person that he could be. And these shoes give a lot of us that little small piece of Kobe in a way to remember him. So uh, big shout out to the folks at Nike, shout out to uh, Kobe Bryant's estate uh, for allowing us to get that piece of Kobe back again. And, uh, and I know a lot of these are reselling high and that part of the game definitely sucks, um, but hopefully these are gonna come out in big enough numbers that a lot of people will actually be able to get pairs and have that piece of Kobe that they want, especially when it comes to a silhouette like this that has so many memories tied to it and that is is such a standout in Kobe's line. Like, like the Kobe 6 in general is just one of the key shoes in Kobe Bryant's signature line with Nike. It's unforgettable. It's hard to see this shoe and not know exactly what it is, especially if you love basketball, especially if you love Kobe Bryant. It is one of the few shoes that I know in his line that really just like automatically makes me think of of a certain time period and makes me think of Kobe Bryant. So uh, with that being said, uh, these released on December 24th, they're gonna be $180. And again, this is the Pro Troll version. So it's an upgraded version of the normal Kobe 6 that released back in 2010. So you can technically play in these. So these are built for basketball. And you've actually already seen some NBA players rocking these on the court. Um, they're going to be hard to get. Let's not sugarcoat it at all. It's going to be a challenge, so make sure you stay on top of it on December 24th when they drop. I'm Jacques Slade. As always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe and all of that good stuff, and I'll see you soon. Peace.